What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and achieving at least one of your goals today. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the 2023 GMC Canyon Elevation. Huge thank you to Paul Van Horn over at Coons Tyson's Chevy Buick GMC for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular Canyon or any GM product with the exception of Cadillac, I'll be sure to have Paul's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. It is a really nice day outside here today. It's about 80 degrees, relatively no humidity, and we got a nice little breeze going, which really makes my day just that much better. But just like I always do, first, let's talk about the exterior and the performance. So, like I said, this is a 2023 GMC Canyon Elevation, and this particular one has been painted in the $495 sterling metallic paint which I think is probably going to be one of the more popular colors because nowadays it seems like everybody chooses a car that's either white, black, or gray. And this is honestly a pretty nice gray, especially in the direct sunlight. But one of the first things I wanted to say about the Canyon as a whole is that for 2023, the Canyon was redesigned inside and out. And the only configuration now you can get with the Canyon and also the Colorado is the crew cab short box configuration. And by the way, 4x4 is standard on every single Canyon except for this one. But this particular one has been optioned with four wheel drive, which is an additional $3,300 option. So like I said, every other Canyon trim level except for the elevation has four wheel drive as standard. But starting over here at our headlights, as standard with the elevation, you get LED projector headlights with IntelliBeam, as well as LED daytime running lights, LED turn signals, and with the optional $1,670 convenience package, you get LED fog lights. Now, one thing that I really like, not only about the Canyon, but also about the Colorado, is the wide stance that you get. I think it gives this thing a very menacing look when driving down the street. And I think this looks way better than the pre-redesigned Canyon. Uh, just, just my personal opinion. I know that's subjective, but I think majority of you guys will agree with what I'm saying. But working our way to the center of the front end, with the elevation, you get a satin black grill with gloss black accents. So basically this piece of the grill is satin black, but then these like U-shaped trim pieces are all gloss black. I think it looks really, really sweet. And then on the outsides, of your grill you get these c-shaped satin black trim pieces here's a closer look at what that looks like and that kind of finishes off the grill other than you have your gmc logo at the center obviously of your grill this particular one has been optioned with the 950 dollars technology package which gives you this forward facing camera that forward facing camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that again comes with that technology package but working our way down a little bit, you do get a body color front bumper as well as a satin black lower valence with two integrated recovery hooks that are painted in black. So you get one there. You also get obviously one on that side as well. And then every Canyon trim level, doesn't matter if it's an Elevation, an AT4 and or a Denali, they all come from factory with a two inch lift and an ultra wide stance that again, just adds to the menacing look of this vehicle. So it looks really sweet. But it is actually a very road-worthy vehicle, which is something that I really, really like. And then if you were wondering about the ground clearance with the Elevation, the AT4, and the Denali, you get 9.6 inches of ground clearance. But there is one more thing I wanted to point out on the front end, and that has to do on the outsides of your front bumper. So you get these bumper cutouts for a uh, better approach angle. So let's say you're doing some off-roading with your Elevation or your AT4, and you come up on a rock, and the rock is right here. You can see, you probably get an additional six inches of clearance there with that bumper cutout. So again, that helps with the approach angle so that is something that you know cool that's cool for those of you who are going to take one of these things off-road working our way down the side you get these satin black wheel arch moldings with the integrated side marker lights that is what that is right there and then coming down these are the standard and the only wheel option you can get with the elevation and they are an 18 inch dark gray painted wheel and they are wrapped in 265 65 goodyear wrangler territory all-terrain tires i'll give you a view of the tread pattern on those tires you can see the sidewall get that nice knobby aggressive look to it and then really the tread down the middle yeah you know if you work on a job site or you're a construction worker or something like that and you're driving on gravel roads you're driving through some mud i think these will do no problem tearing up some mud uh, but they're really not that much of a you know an off-road focused tire i mean they are but they aren't you know what i'm saying they're more of like a, a hybrid between roadworthy and off-road worthy if that makes sense also 
little uh, something I thought I might mention is that you do get a fully boxed frame. Obviously, it seems like nowadays all trucks come with a fully boxed frame, but I have a 1987 F-150 that does not have a fully boxed frame, so I thought I would mention that. But working our way into our side view mirrors, you get gloss black mirror caps, and they are manual folding and power adjustable as standard. However, you know, this is a loaded up elevation, so there are a couple options on these side view mirrors. This one has the optional $1,670 convenience package, which gives you the heated side view mirrors. This also has the $1,715 premium package, which gives you the blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of your driver's side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror. And then last but not least, this has the $950 technology package, which gives you the side view cameras. Again, those side view cameras work with your 360 degree view camera system that come with the technology package. Now, let's do a little side profile shot of the Canyon. Again, I think this thing looks really sweet, especially with this paint matched to these wheels. I think it just, this is a really nice spec, uh, but I think this would also look good in a white, a black, um, a green, uh, which is like the solar flare metallic, which is kind of an interesting color. I'm not sure uh, how I feel about it. I don't love it, but I also don't hate it at the same time. But working our way into these side view windows, you get some black window trim as well as body color door handles with keyless access as standard. Just keep in mind that the keyless access function is only on your front two doors. And then also what's only on your front two doors are your elevation badges. So that's a closer look at what your elevation badges look like. Again, the elevation badge looks really nice here on the sterling metallic paint. But working our way down the side, you do get a capless filler neck behind here. That is what your capless filler neck looks like. 87 octane will do you just fine. Again, like I mentioned just a little bit ago, this does have the convenience package and the convenience package gives you the manual sliding rear window with the rear window defogger. So that put that on screen, a little demonstration of that. Uh, one thing, that is one thing that I really don't like about the new Canyons is that you get a manual sliding rear window and it's the same thing on the Denali. Obviously on the Denali, the manual sliding rear window comes standard, but I think especially on the Denali, you should get a power sliding rear window. And obviously, like I said, this one has been optioned with the $3,300 four wheel drive system. So you get the four by four badges on your bedsides. And then as standard with the elevation, you get LED taillights as well as chrome badging back here with your canyon lettering obviously you have your gmc logo at the center and then on the lower right hand side of your tailgate you have another elevation badge working our way to here obviously the backup camera does come standard 2018 and up the u.s mandated that we all have backup cameras on all consumer vehicles so that is what that is right there like i just mentioned a couple times ago uh, this does have the convenience package so with the convenience package you get the tailgate key cylinder lock as well as tailgate storage i do have to unlock the vehicle so this does have an electronic locking tailgate you can hear the tailgate unlocked when i press the unlock button also with that convenience package you have the easy lift tailgate uh, which is what that drop you know, you got the dampened tailgate. Also with that convenience package, you get tailgate storage, which is interesting. So flip that that way, flip this this way, and then you can open this up and you can set jumper cables, maybe some snacks, stuff like that down in here. But yeah, you can definitely fit jumper cables. And uh, you know, that's what that tailgate storage is. Again, that comes with the convenience package. What also comes with the convenience package is this 120 volt bed outlet, which is on the passenger side of the bed. And that is what that looks like. So all of those things just mentioned all come a part of the convenience package. This also has the optional $475 spray in bed liner. So you can see uh, Chevy does, or GMC, excuse me, does a very good job with their spray in bed liner. So that is what the spray in bed liner looks like. You also have two tie downs in each corner for a total of eight. And that's, you know, kind of about it for what we got going on here in the bed. I'm going to close this and we're going to talk about a couple other things. So I'm going to come down just a tad bit. Obviously you can see you get a body color corner step bumper. So you get a step on both sides of the bumper. That makes it a little bit easier to step in and out of the bed or access the bed. So literally all you do is obviously step on that and then makes it a lot easier to grab something from inside the bed. But again, a couple other things that this vehicle has. This has the optional $1,715 premium package which gives you the four parking sensors you get two on this side and then you obviously get two on that side as well 
As standard, you get the four and seven pin connectors. So that's a four pin connector. That's your seven pin connector. And then you also have your trailer hitch right there. A couple other things that I wanted to mention um, is that with that in mind, with the four of the seven pin connector and your trailer hitch, you get a max tow capacity of 7,700 pounds. So this is a very, very capable little truck. And then you also, what's interesting to me is that with the elevation, you get a single speed transfer case. And then last but not least, this also has the optional $990 Pro Grade trailering system, which gives you a lo auto locking rear differential. And then you also get a 342 rear axle ratio as standard with the Canyon. Let me know what you think of the 2023 Canyon in the comments down below. I just walked into a spider web, but that doesn't matter. I do want to know what do you think of the redesign for the 2023 model year on the Canyon? I think personally, again, looks way better than the 2022. Uh, it's just a sleeker, a sharper, more masculine looking truck. And I just think it looks a heck of a lot more premium on the outside as well as on the inside as compared to the 2022 and below. But again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into performance. Pop and open that hood reveals that 2.7 liter turbo high output four cylinder that makes 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six seconds flat. And if you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 17 miles per gallon in the city, 21 miles per gallon on the highway for 19 miles per gallon combined when optioned with four wheel drive. Again, four wheel drive is an additional $3,300 option with the elevation. However, if you get the AT4, you get the Denali or the AT4X, it comes standard again with every other trim level on the Canyon except for the elevation. But if you are enjoying this video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers. And honestly, it's been a little bit more challenging than I thought. I thought I'd get to 10,000 subscribers like that. Uh, it didn't quite work that way. However, I do love what I do, but it is still work. So I would appreciate it if you guys would just take a second, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. But with that stuff said, let's move into the interior. Moving on into the interior, like I mentioned a little bit ago in the video, you do get keyless access as standard with the elevation. So all you gotta do is make sure you have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, press on this button right here and the vehicle will unlock and or lock dependent on if the vehicle has already been unlocked and or locked. I wanted to walk you through a couple of the functions on the key fob as well. So just like any other real key fob nowadays, you have your unlock function, your lock function and your panic function. However, with the convenience package, you get remote start. So to remote start the vehicle, lock it and then press this button twice the vehicle will fire up and that is what it sounds like when it fires up but like i said keyless access have your key fob in your pocket press on that chrome button right there and the vehicle will unlock i'm going to come in here and i'm going to turn that on so i can turn that preconditioning system off so you have better audio of what i am saying so on your door panel pretty much all of this area is all plastic and then you get a chrome looking door handle you get your unlock and your lock functions you get a nicely padded armrest with some accent colored stitching this is called cortex so this isn't leather gm calls this like cortex so it's kind of like uh, it feels like leather, but it's not leather. Then you get some accent colored stitching. You get an automatic up and down front driver window and all the other windows are automatic down only. Here are your side view mirror controls. And then you get a spot you could set a Deer Park water bottle there and a phone holder also on your door panel. But now taking a look at the interior, this particular one has been optioned with the $650 preferred package. And that preferred package gives you an eight way power front driver seat with power lumbar and then that also gives you heated front seats so that is what the seat controls look like with that preferred package and then that is what the seat looks like so we might as well step into the interior and let's see what the rest of the interior has to offer so what i'm going to do i'm going to close the door roll a couple windows down so we get some airflow in here and then uh we'll get started so we'll start over here so this little knob here is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. And then beneath that, like I mentioned on the outside of the vehicle, this particular one's been optioned with the $990 Pro Grade trailering system. So that gives you the integrated trailer brake controller, which is what I'm showing you on screen right now. And then coming over to here, you may notice that this does have a tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And that tilting and telescoping steering wheel, yes, it is manual, comes a part of the convenience package. So flipping that down, 
the steering wheel will come towards you, the steering wheel will go away from you, and then it also moves up and down again to your liking. So I believe with the just standard elevation, you only get the steering wheel that moves up and down. It doesn't come towards you or go away from you. So that is what comes a part of that convenience package. Now let's take a listen to our turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like. Not only is this your turn signal control stock, this is also your high beam control stock and your windshield wiper control stock. And that is a closer look at that. Zooming out just a bit, this is what your steering wheel looks like. You get a leather wrapped steering wheel. Obviously your horn is at the center, so let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the 2023 Canyon. Now, one thing I wanted to mention pretty much right off the bat when we're talking about the steering wheels, and on the back sides of the steering wheel, you have your tuning controls. So the tuning controls are on this side of the steering wheel on the back. So those are your tuning controls there. And then on this side of the steering wheel on the back side, you have your volume control. So obviously that's volume up and then that is volume down. And then on the left-hand side of your steering wheel, this particular one's been optioned with the $950 technology package. And that technology package gives you adaptive cruise control. So here are your adaptive cruise control settings. And then on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you have all these different controls. So I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna go into demo mode, and now I have full access into this screen. So these controls here are to control your screen. And then that is to speak to the vehicle. That is to bring up your audio stuff on screen. So that brings you into your radio media stuff. Clicking that again and that brings you back out. And then clicking on this button will bring you into your different screen. So that's one screen, that's another screen. Uh, clicking that again, that is your couple different screens. So you have this screen, you have this screen, you have this screen, you have this screen. Then you also have your calm screen. And that is about it for that. I kind of like this screen. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna walk you guys through the digital dash. So for 2023, this is brand new. It is an eight inch digital gauge cluster. And now we're gonna walk through this. So over here, you have your ambient exterior temperature. That is the compass. You can see that's the RPM gauge now. That is your fuel gauge. That is your coolant temperature gauge. I believe this is your oil temperature gauge. And then that is your trans fluid temperature gauge. And then down here, letting you know that you have to fill the vehicle up with fuel on the driver's side. That is your fuel range. That lets us know that we are in two wheel drive. So that's your transfer case status stuff. That's your transmission status stuff. That is your odometer down there. It's letting me know uh, lane keep assist is on. And then that is basically letting me know that I am unbuckled at the moment. Now clicking through this button right here. Basically all the same stuff displayed on the screen plus your trip information stuff. It's just laid out a bit different. Clicking on this button again. Now you get your audio stuff and then click in this button. This is a pretty cool screen. You basically get your pitch and roll stuff as well as your transfer case status and your steering angle. So when I turn the wheel, you can see my steering wheel angle moves as I turn the steering wheel. So that's pretty cool. And then last but not least, you also have your calm screen, which basically just displays your digital speedometer readout at the center. And then clicking that button again, brings us back into the screen we started off on. So up top here, you get some black plastic. You can hear it on uh, in the video now. As standard with the elevation, you get push button start and keyless access. So that is what your push button start button looks like. And then you get some more of that Cortex stuff on the dash right there. And then boom, you might be able to see what's also brand new to 2023 for the Canyon. And now that is the 11.3 inch infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So before we get into that stuff, I wanted to show you that doesn't look like a cloth seat now, does it? And that is because this particular one has been optioned with the $1,715 premium package, which gives you the jet black Cortex seats. So that is why you don't see cloth in this vehicle because this does have the premium package. It's called the Elevation Premium Package. But now back to our regular programming. This is your volume control knob. This is what your screen looks like. So this is the home screen. This is basically uh, when you click the home button down here, that is the screen that it brings you to. So you get your audio, your maps, your phone, your trailering stuff. This trailering uh, little app right there comes a part of the ProGrade trailering system for $990. Then you also have your Google Assistant, your Play Store, your wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto stuff. You can bring the climate controls thing uh, on the screen. So when I turn that on, that is what the climate control screen looks like on that screen. I'm gonna go back into the home screen. Then you also have your settings. 
Moving over to here, Wi-Fi hotspot does come standard. By the way, the Wi-Fi hotspot works awesome in this vehicle and pretty much on all GM vehicles. Then you can go in between your different vehicle information stuff. I'll give it a second for that to pop up. So you can go in between all these different things up top here. I'll give you one of those, for example. Uh, I'll give you this one, for example, and then you can swipe between these different screens. So pretty cool. Uh, and then you can go in between your different controls. I'll show you that in a second. You can go to your off-road stuff. So this is Baja, this is Terrain. And then that is overlanding. Click back out of that. Then you can go to my GMC. You can set service appointments. This particular one does have the technology package. And with the technology package, you get a 360 degree view camera system. So here are all your different camera views. Boom and boom. Um, that is your 360 cam. Then you can go to your side cameras and your 360 camera. That is that. And then click it on that, basically your side cameras. So when I twist it, you can see it turns. And uh, that's kind of about it for that system. I like to leave it on this screen right here. Where is it? I thought it was this one. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm pretty sure it was that one. But anyways, uh, and then up top here, you have your temperature and the time, and then here are all your shortcut buttons. So you may notice that you no longer get a physical headlight control button or knob. Um, that is because when you click this arrow or this little light looking thing right here, that will bring you into your headlight controls. So now you have your headlights off, you have your daytime running lights button right there, headlights automatic, and then headlights in the always on position. But you may notice, you know, this one has been optioned with the convenience package, which gives you the uh, fog lights. So you're like, how do you turn the fog lights on? And basically you have to click on this little thing that looks like a canyon, and then that will bring you into this screen. Then you get to go into lights, and then you can go in between all your different lighting stuff for the outside. You can turn your IntelliBeam on or off, and then here are all your different vehicle controls. You can also instantly press that button there, turn your park assist off, and so on and so forth. Those are all your different controls there. So pretty cool, and it's actually very easy to access the headlight controls, especially with the button right there. And then that's your phone. Uh, that is the uh, Google Maps. And then that is your audio stuff. And then again, that is your home button. And then coming down just a tad bit, um, you get dual zone climate control. Dual zone climate control also comes a part of the $1,670 convenience package. So you can control the temperature individually with this knob and this knob for the pastor. And then what I like about it is that it also displays the temperature on those knobs as well, which is always nice. And then clicking that button again, that turns back off. And then again, this particular one's been optioned with the preferred package, which gives you the heated front seats. So with that package, you get heated front seats with three levels of adjustability. And then that is a closer look at your climate control stack right there. And that's kind of about it for that. Coming down, you get two HVAC vents. Pressing on that button will roll all your interior windows down. However, that's not gonna roll all the windows up. So I would have liked to see like a button that I could roll all the windows up, but you have to roll all the windows up uh, by yourself again with this thing over, with all your window controls over here. So that's kind of a letdown. But anyway, that is to turn auto stop start, your auto stop start system on or off. That's your hazard button. That's your lane keep assist button. And then all the way over here, it says aux. Um, so basically aux is uh, an auxiliary button. So you could attach a light bar to the vehicle, wire it into that switch right there. And then when you flip that switch on, it will turn your LED light bar on, which is always pretty cool. And then beneath that, you get a USB-C port, you get a USB-A port, and then you get a little bit of storage space down in there for a key fob or something like that. This is what your gear shift selector looks like. If you want to control the transmission, you gotta put it in L and then you can upshift and or downshift the transmission with these buttons here. Go back there. This is your drive mode selector, but it also lets you put it in four wheel high or two wheel high or four wheel automatic. Again, this does not get a uh, two speed transfer case. This gets a single speed transfer case. So you only get four wheel drive high. You don't get four wheel drive low, but twisting this to the right will bring you in between your different drive modes. So you have your normal mode, you have your off-road mode, you have your tow haul mode, you have your terrain mode, and then you have your normal mode. So I believe that's one, two, three, four different drive modes. So pretty cool. And then beneath that, you have an electronic parking brake pull up to engage the parking brake. And then you get two cup holders here, and then you get a great spot. You could set a phone in between those two cup holders. Then you get a nicely padded armrest and opening up your armrest to get a little divider. You can take that divider out if you want to. And then down in here, you get a 12 volt power outlet to charge a phone or connect a radar detector or something along those lines. And then coming over to here, you get a glove box. You can see you can fit your owner's manual, some snacks, some straws, some napkins, stuff like that. On that side, you get an OPU panel on your A-pillar. And then coming up to here, you get a driver light. 
you get a front passenger light. I do believe that that is an option. And I believe these individual lights come a part of the convenience package. And then you have your light controls here. So if you want the um, door or lights to turn on when you have the door open, that is where you would be. Otherwise, you click it to the left. And then if you want just the dome lights on instantly, you'd click that all the way to the right. This particular one's been optioned with the $1,000 power sunroof. So this is what your sunroof looks like. It will slide. I'll show you that now. You can see now it is sliding. And then that is what it looks like fully opened. And then you can also tilt it up like that, which I'll show you once it's closed. But to tilt it, you press that button right there. And now the sunroof is tilted open. And then OnStar stuff lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off. You get a little clip here on your visor. Opening up your visor, you get a vanity mirror with two vanity lights. The vanity lights also come a part of the convenience package, and then this thing slides forwards and backwards to your liking. You also get a Bluetooth mic pickup for your Bluetooth phone there, and you also get one on that side as well. You also get an auto dimming rear view mirror. That auto dimming rear view mirror also comes a part of that convenience package, um, which is always nice. But you know, um, that's kind of about it for what we got going on here in these front seats. This front passenger seat is a manually adjustable passenger seat, so it is not, um, it is not a power adjustable passenger seat, but there are a couple things that I wanted to go over. Um, so this does have the preferred package, which gives you the eight way power driver seat with lumbar and the heated front seats. This also has the premium package, which is a $1,715 option, which gives you the jet black Cortex seats. Uh, and it also gives you the rear center fold down armrest back there in the second row. It also gives you the blind spot monitoring, the rear parking sensors and the rear cross traffic alert and the driver's seat map pocket. One big option that I think is very important to get or a recommended option that I would recommend you get is the $1,670 convenience package, which gives you the manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, the heated outside mirrors, the rear USB ports, the remote start system, the manual sliding rear window, the illuminated vanity mirrors, the dual zone climate control system, the auto dimming rear view mirror, as well as a couple other things that you can read on screen right now. This also has the optional $1,000 sunroof. This also has the $950 technology package, which gives you the 360 degree view camera system, adaptive cruise control, rear pedestrian alert, and the tailgate keyed lock. And then last but not least, this also has the optional $990 pro grade trailering system, which gives you the trailer brake controller, the in-vehicle trailering app, and the auto locking rear differential. Now I'm gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen. You can take a look at the standard stuff. You can take a look at all the different optional stuff if you want to, uh, but basically, you know, take a look at whatever you want to, but basically I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 GMC Canyon elevation is spec'd is $49,790. I think this is really worth it. I know it's considered like the base model. However, the way that this one is spec'd, it's pretty much fully loaded. You know what I mean? You pretty much have every single option. I think it's a great looking truck. I think for the money, I think it is also a really great value. I know it's a lot of money, but it seems like all these little mid-sized trucks are very expensive, uh, and this one is no different. But you get a very, very nice truck that looks great from the outside. It looks premium but it's considered the base model, which is kind of interesting. But I do wanna show you what we got going on in these rear seats before we moved into the driving portion of the review. So I wanna show you this door panel first. Looks very similar to what you would find in the front. However, again, automatic down windows in the back here only. We'll see how far the window goes down. It goes all the way down. Again, it's not an automatic up, so you do have to hold it when it goes up. Chrome looking door handle spot you could set uh, a Deer Park water bottle. And then you also get a padded armrest, but it's not as nicely padded as a food find for the driver or the front passenger. This is what your rear seats look like. I do believe you can fold these seats up by flicking that and then lifting up on this. And then you get some partition storage space right here. You could set jumper cables or something like that, but you also have your jack there and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then to drop these seats again, you pull up on that and then they will just drop. But now stepping on into these seats, like I said, you get a manual sliding rear window with the convenience package. So you do have to do that yourself, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. With the convenience package, you get the driver sat driver side seat back pocket same thing over there for the passenger the passenger seat back pocket comes standard two cup holders a spot you could set your phone two hvac vents and then you get a usb c port back here and a usb a port again that comes a part of the convenience package 
That is a look at your dome light. And then you get a OPU panel over here for the passenger on this side. And then the same thing for the passenger on that side. You can see I'm five foot nine and I am adjusted behind myself. I've got plenty of knee room, plenty of leg room left over. You can see that. And then also plenty of headroom left over. So I think if you were, you know, six foot two, I still think you'd be comfortable behind me in these second row seats. But we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the elevation. So I want to see what this thing's like to drive as i'm assuming you guys do as well so i'll see you guys in the driver's seat all right and now on to the driving portion of the review where this thing actually drives really really well i'm actually surprised that it's a base model you know what i mean because of all the options that it has it does not feel like a base model um and you know it's kind of funny because you know this is again the base trim level of the canyon I, I love i'm not sure if you can hear it but the turbo whistle take a listen i'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera but you can hear the turbo spooling up which i think is pretty cool uh, but back to what i was saying this is a fully loaded base model and this is the nicest like base model fully loaded base model that i've ever been in normally like you can't really get all the options uh in a base model but this one pretty much you can get all the options in the base model i think it looks awesome on the outside it, like it looks great here on the inside and it has everything that you need and more and uh you know if you're looking for a mid-size truck for under fifty thousand dollars i would say at least take a look at this uh and put this on your short list because it is really, really nice. And if you spec it correctly, you can have a really, really nice truck for $50,000. And like, I just did a, did a YouTube short. And basically what I was saying in that video is that this is pretty much a Denali minus the Denali nameplate. Yes, the Denali does get, I think a 12 inch screen here, whereas this one obviously gets the eight inch screen. Uh, but who cares you know what i mean the 8 inch screen is plenty you don't need the 12 inch screen um and then other than that i mean it's got everything i mean i know it doesn't have the ventilated seats and stuff like that so while yeah that might be you know something that you might want to consider getting um ah, man it's just a great great vehicle for the money and again it's the nicest base model i've ever been in and another thing i wanted to say is that it rides great. This thing's got more than enough power. I'll give you guys a little acceleration once we get going back up that hill. Um, but yeah, just take a listen to what it sounds like here, just cruising at 30 miles an hour. Soaks up bumps very, very well. I'm gonna hit this bump on purpose. And you can't really even feel them. You really can't, and I mean, yeah, you can tell that it's a truck just by the way that it rides, but it's just very composed for being a little truck. It rides very, very well. And uh, now I'm gonna do a nice little acceleration for those who I know want to see it. So I'm gonna give that guy some space and basically I'm just gonna floor it. So you can see very good get up and go. Very, very good get up and go. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's got a four cylinder, blah, blah, blah. It's a very, very peppy four cylinder and it actually sounds great. Listen to the turbo. Listen. I'm not sure you can hear it. It goes Psss. I love how they incorporated that into the driving experience because that really does add to the driving experience, especially if you're like a car or truck person, you get to hear a little bit of turbo whistle from a vehicle that comes factory with a turbo whistle. Uh, it's awesome here, another little one. Yeah, I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up. I've tried to pick it up on videos that I've done uh, with the Canyon AT4 and the Canyon Denali. I've done videos with both of those and uh, it just, it doesn't quite pick up the turbo sound on camera, which is unfortunate because here in person, it sounds really, really cool. But uh, yeah, drive is great. I was actually pleasantly surprised by how good the standard sound system was. Um, I listened to some music on it and I was like, dang, this thing actually, you know, it's loud. It's got good bass. It's got good clarity. Obviously it's not going to be as good as like the Bose sound system that you can get uh, on the AT4 or on the Denali. I don't know if you can get the Bose sound system uh, as an option on this. I'll put it on screen if you can or you can't. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, very awesome vehicle. This guy's passing me. That pretty stupid. If there's a dude, there's always a cop on this. I'm not. I'm literally going nine miles an hour over the speed limit. I just got passed. Anyways, people are stupid. Uh, but you know, 
this thing just it rides great sounds sound system is great honestly the motor sounds pretty decent as well for being a four-cylinder uh, it's just an overall like really great vehicle and like if i was looking at a mid-size truck this would 100 percent be on my short list even now the elevation trim level because i mean all the at4 the denali and the elevation all come factory with the two inch lift and a ultra wide stance so it's like well What's the point of me getting the AT4 or me getting the Denali if I can get all the options of both of those on this? You know what I mean? So this is a great, uh, this is the value one. You know, this is the value uh, Canyon. And I, I know you can get a Denali for like $7,000 more, which is a lot of money. But at the same time, if you got that $7,000 lying around and you want the Denali nameplate, go ahead and get it. But the AT4 I did a video with didn't have a 360 degree view camera system. And I think it was like $2,000 more than this. Um, so it's really dependent on what you want. You know what I mean? They got something for everybody. You want a base model, you can get no options. This one just happens to have pretty much every option, but that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and it has definitely been more difficult than I anticipated it being. Um, but yeah, I do love making these videos and I would really appreciate it if you guys would just take a second to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That really benefits my channel and I would really, really appreciate it. But like I said, that's it for today's video. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.